Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing a very quick tutorial in Audacity. Haven't really done this in a while. But this is basically how you can uh, remove a portion of audio that, I guess you could call it a audio skip or a buffer or something. Happens a lot if you listen, if you listen to music that's been streamed over the web, like internet, radio, or I don't know, Spotify, whatever the hell that is. But sometimes it can also happen when you import a CD onto a computer. Yeah, there might be a little bit of an error in the reading the CD. So there might be a little skip in the audio, which I'll play for you right here. And I've heard right there, right as the line went over this part of the audio track, there's like a sort of a stutter. Not sure how well that's going to be noticeable on camera. And like, when you have the audio tracks zoomed out, you can barely even notice it's there. I, um, basically the way I find this is I go to edit, and then clip boundaries, and then detach at silences. So that will, that's helpful if you've recorded several tracks, it'll detach them, or split them, wherever it's silent, but uh, it can also help you detect these tracking errors. Um, so I did that, and I found this error, so I marked it. Error. If you zoom in here, you can notice there's a little bit of a split there in the track. It's like, it's a very small, like, s section of time. It's, like, 12... 12 minutes, 26 seconds, uh, 150 milliseconds, or whatever, to 170 milliseconds. So there's, like, that small bit of silence. Yeah. But, uh, you can sort of get rid of that if you zoom in really close. Down to where it shows you the individual samples. See the dots? Each dot is, like, connects a sample. Go to the end of it, press Command I, and it'll do that for you. I actually messed it up, I put that in the wrong place, but Command I, if you zoom out, move the cursor over to the other end of our audio, zoom in. See right here where the audio goes flat? Press Command I again. So we've just separated this noise, or this silence, from the rest of it. I just select that portion, delete it. Notice here, the audio now lines up. So if we zoom out, and we play it, that little tiny skip in the audio should be gone. Yep. So now you can no longer hear that that little mess up. Let's see if I can. So if I go back, this is how it sounded before. You can hear it. After we made that little edit, there's no longer a stutter or a glitch in the audio. So we fixed that little error. Now I can get rid of that error mark, because the error is gone. And then we just zoom out, that's the whole track. Or the whole... ...recording I made, I just recorded off the radio. Um... Using the internet. Anyway, so that should solve any problems you're having. I mean, I don't know exactly when this would be useful, but like, just sometimes... ...you'll record a track, or you'll import a track and there will be a skip somewhere like that. That's how you can get rid of it, or at least make it less noticeable. I'm sure if you were had really good ears, you might be able to still notice it, but I certainly can't really notice it. But uh, that's it for today. Hope you, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.